matcha in my mouth and spit it outside onto the grass in front of the lovely other customers there. here in Singapore and I am standing on my balcony I'm about to get ready to go out tonight it's actually Chinese New Year this weekend so Carlos and I are going to go into Chinatown to see what's going on there hopefully we're thinking that there will be some sort of nice vibe and decorations I don't know something anything going on yeah we haven't actually booked dinner so we don't really know where we're going yet we might go to this spanish tapas place actually so let's see it's a little bit tricky with me being celiac turning up and going somewhere so usually have to pre-plan everything make sure they have a gluten-free menu it's quite hard in asia to find gluten-free food anyway we're gonna try this little spanish place it has a cute, cozy little tapas bar. I mean, I eat Spanish food quite a lot. Going home to Madrid to see Carlos's family. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be okay. Hopefully they'll know what is gluten-free and what's not, and we can eat something nice and safe. <laughs> oh, funny thing that happened to me today. Actually, well, it wasn't funny. I was going to go get a coffee at one of my favorite places here. It's called Plain Vanilla. Um, I didn't get a coffee, actually, that's a lie. I got a matcha with soy milk and I ordered it, but it wasn't the usual barista who they know me and they usually know what I get. Um, anyway, I ordered a, a soy matcha latte and just before, you know, I got it, they made it, I took it and I went, it's soy milk, right? And the guy goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I took a sip and he goes, wait, soy milk? No, 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 oat, oat, and <sighs> so I'm allergic to oats. So I had to run out the cafe <laughs> matcha in my mouth and spit it outside onto the grass in front of the lovely other customers there having their coffee, which was quite embarrassing. Um, and then I had to go back in, ask for a glass of water, and I said, y'all, do you mind if I just rinse my mouth to your sink? And they said, no, that's fine, because I didn't want to get a reaction and contamination tonight will go better so I've done my makeup already as you can see it's so hot out here on my hair as well um, so I just need to get my outfit on Ooh, it's so hot as you can see I'm literally sweating sweating already let's see Chinatown during Lunar New Year other Chinese New Year decorations so far they've been really pretty there's like lanterns everywhere flowers and all these cute little light up figurines very cute Thank you. Okay. So, 
we made it even though it was chucking it down with rain outside and then we walked to this cute little spanish place that we're at now and we're having tapas <laughs> That's a sardine over there. Thank you. Yeah, so we're having tapas at this cute little restaurant, a Spanish restaurant called Binomio. No, Binomio? Binomio? Binomio. Binomio. And lucky for us, we didn't book or anything, but we got a little table right in the window so we can keep a watch whilst we eat, which is great. Got some sofrito plants and sardinas, sardines, tortilla de patata, which was just his, amazing. And he had some croquetas, but I couldn't eat them gluten-free, same old story. Staff room were really helpful. They were aware of gluten-free um, allergens and everything like that. So that was always a tick for me. Um, so let's get stuck in. It's another day in Singapore. Last night was a really nice night, actually. The dinner was phenomenal, I have to say. Really, really super impressed with that. Um, and yeah, feeling pretty good this morning. Um, plan for the day is we're going to go for brunch this morning to a new place. Um, it's called Holy... <laughs> Holy something, I can't remember the name, so I will put it up here. Um, but I'm sure you'll see it in a minute. But basically, it's got lots and lots and lots of gluten free options. Yay! So that's great for me. Um, so yeah, and it's not, it's actually like a half an hour walk from where we live, and I've never tried it before, so we're gonna give that a go. Um, but before we do that, it is a beautiful, another beautiful day in Singapore, even though. It's a little bit cloudy, but it wasn't cloudy a second ago. It was like perfect blue skies a second ago. It's like, but still, not bad, right? Um, so first, I'm gonna go for a little swim in the pool to freshen up. Got my bag, got my towel, got my sunscreen, of course. Must always wear sunscreen, especially here in Singapore. The sun is so strong um so yeah gonna go for a little swim take you with me and then we'll get ready for brunch okay let's go session with the pool and now we are on our way hi <laughs> guys staring at me we are on our way to the living cafe which is 
super excited about. I only just discovered this place, um, but it's perfect for me. And I'll explain more when we get there, but there's just so many different options. Oh, look who I found. Hi, say hi. Hello. <laughs> and the girls is here with us. We just, we're gonna go there now, get some yummy food, yummy drinks, and I'll show you how fantastic this place is. Here, I can talk a little bit more about the cafe that we've come to. It's called the Living Cafe, and I absolutely love it so far. I haven't even tried anything, I haven't eaten anything, just ordered my food. In Asia, it's usually really hard to find places that are gluten free, for one thing, never mind being plant based, dairy free, refined sugar free, meat free, I mean, any of those sorts of things. It's just not a normal circumstance here in Asia. Today we found this place and it is all of those things. And not only do I have the menu at the cafe that you can choose from, but then they also have like over here all these little like bits, which is kind of like a grocery store situation. Um, so yeah, haven't tried anything yet, but we already had a look at the bakery items and they look phenomenal. Amazing. So I've got uh, high expectations. So excited! Thank you. Thank you. So our food has arrived. I got the oh, colors. What did you get? You got the breakfast burrito with eggplant bacon. So that's the get bacon, but then you've got it with scrambled eggs, right? Um, and then I got the rosti, the sweet potato rosti with smoked salmon, asparagus, organic poached eggs, and wasabi. Perfect. Thank you. Coconut cinnamon matcha. Mm. Oh, very coconutty. Yummy. And Carlos got this one, which I'm going to try now, <laughs> which is the beef zinger. Beetroot, carrot, celery, ginger, and lemon. And there's a spoon in it. The spoon is poking me in the eye, but it tastes really good. We just got back from the brunch and I've decided to do a little outfit change because we are now going into the center to the Raffles Hotel and Raffles Mall. Just to take a look around, like the Raffles Hotel is a really famous old historic hotel in Singapore. And there's supposed to be like really pretty buildings and then there's a mall connected to it which is also really big. And so I'm not gonna say no to that. So yeah, I just wanted to protect myself from the sun a little bit more if we're gonna be walking around outside a lot. So this is what we're going with. Go.
here. Um, we've arrived at the Raffles Hotel, which is a colonial style luxury hotel. A little bit of fun facts for you. It was founded by Thomas Stanford Raffles in, what was the year called? 1887. 1887. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's, it's very cool. It's actually, a uh, fact that I enjoy is that the Singapore Sling, which is like a really famous um, cocktail here in Singapore, was founded here in the Raffles Hotel. So yeah, but other than that, it's really beautiful. And if you are lucky enough to be able to stay here, I mean, it looks absolutely beautiful. Usually what we would do is we would go down here, but there's a nice little courtyard and we would have like cocktails, um, something like that. Or you could go to the original bar, which is very, very popular. I was here when the hotel was first founded. But today, I think we're gonna skip it because my parents are gonna be coming in a couple of weeks time and I should probably save that for them because I think it'll be a nice thing to do together. So if you're ever in Singapore and you need a nice location for some afternoon cocktails, this is the place. So this is the queue if you want to go to the original long bar and it carries on going. It carries on going around that corner. So <laughs> get here early. It's called the long bar. So he said sense. it makes sense because it's called the long bar. So we are back home now and I think this is where we're going to end the vlog. We've had a very busy day outside in the sun all day so now we just want to take a bit to relax, have some dinner, maybe watch a movie. I'm already in my pajamas <laughs> as you can see. Next week I'm going to take you with me to Pilates, some new brunch spots. Um, it's Chinese New Year, so we're gonna see a really cool drone show, especially for Chinese New Year at Marina Bay Sands. That's gonna be really great. And I also have some interesting life updates to share as well. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching and be sure to watch my next video next week on Sunday as usual. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.